Today in Aggressive Science News, is the periodic table now complete? You may have heard that the periodic table is a little fuller this year than last. That's because the IUPAC has officially added four new elements to the periodic table. This is cool, but what does it mean? Why are we just now finding out about these elements? Is it vibranium, chronoton, or adamantium? The periodic table was invented and first published in 1869 by Dmitry Mendeleev. The rows group the elements by atomic weight. The columns denote how many electrons exist in the outermost layer of the atom or the valence shell. When Mendeleev laid this table out, he noticed a few empty spots. He posited that these elements do exist, but we hadn't discovered them yet. This turned out to be true as in the following years we discovered scandium, gallium, germanium, and surprise, they fit right into the empty spots. The periodic law was laid out after 1911 when an English chemist named Henry Moseley came up with a better way to quantify the scale of the elements by finding the number of protons in the nucleus. Once again, this left some holes in the table. Using Moseley's method of measuring x-rays given off by elements when bombarded with electrons, the holes were later filled and newly discovered elements were found. The most recent four elements added were actually discovered in 2002, 2003, and 2010. After a few more years of study and verification by other labs, we now have a full seventh row in our periodic table. Element 113, 115, 117, 118. Welcome to the party. Cheers. <laughs>